And this is one of the most interesting kinds of co coalition government formation that you could imagine anywhere in the world. Uh, it's extremely competitive. There are five major blocks that need to be cobbled together. You have to have at least two of those five, and probably three, to form a majority government. En route to getting that government, you've got to have two-thirds of all Iraqi members of parliament agree on who should be their president. And that position is largely symbolic, but the president gets to uh, regulate the process of this attempted coalition government formation, gets to say who should be the first would-be prime minister designate, and then to revise that decision later on if there's no success. So a lot is going on. And this has, uh, in addition to all sorts of policy questions at its core, uh, issues about how we put Ba'athism behind us, you know, issues of how the Iraqis deal with Iran and other neighbors, issues of how internal disagreements between Kurds, Arabs, Turkmen, and others are handled, and of course the Sunni-Shia divide. And so all these things are in play. I would tend to say that uh, from an American point of view, the fact that former Prime Minister Alawi, a secular Shia with a lot of Sunnis on his coalition uh, roster, that, that he won the most votes is probably a good thing. It's the kind of person and candidate we like, but it remains to be seen if he can really form a majority government that holds together and if he's able to satisfy all the different groups. Just to give one particular concern, he has a lot of Sunnis in his coalition, as I mentioned, but the Sunnis and the Kurds have a lot of disagreements up north over territorial matters where they don't agree on who should control the city of Kirkuk and so on. If Alawi wants to bring in Kurds into his coalition, when he also depends on Sunnis, he's got a real challenge in terms of what he's going to promise to each side credibly uh, to make them happy with whatever he might do about that territorial issue. So there are all sorts of things in play, essentially all simultaneously. Coalition formation is going to be an issue of sectarian rapprochement, but it's also going to be an issue of looking ahead to what kinds of decisions, laws, policy matters might be addressed, trying to anticipate and game that process in advance. And Iraqis are good at this. They're new to a formal democracy. They are not new to politics. They are very inherently political people, and they, they know how to play this kind of a game. So a lot is going to happen between now and the summer when the process may, if all goes well, finally begin to conclude.